In this video, I'm going to be running a variable speed pool pump at maximum RPM to show you how much power it consumes and the flow rate it achieves. And then what I'm going to attempt to do is turn down the speed of the variable speed pump until the power consumption has cut in half. And then I want to take a look at the flow rates and see when we cut the amount of power in half, what happens to the flow rate. So let's go ahead and get started here. So pump is already running. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Maximum speed, 3,450 RPM. It's running on a two inch system right now. So we're gonna get probably just over hundred gallons per minute. All right, there we go. Now, the important number, top right corner, 2.28 kilowatts. That is 2,280 watts. That is the power consumption that this pump will use in one hour's running time, 2.28 kilowatts. And again, that's at 3,450 RPM. Knock that down to 3,000, take a quick look here. Lost about 16, 18 gallons per minute. Power consumption's dropped a lot, but we're looking for a little bit less than that. We're looking for just, you know, about 1.125 kilowatts. We're just over 1,100 watts, so we're still a little bit high. I think this is going to do it here, 2,700 RPM. So we've only dropped a couple of hundred RPM, you know, 700-ish. We were at 103 or so gallons per minute. We're down to 78. I mean, it's less. It's definitely not half. It's for sure more than half by a lot. But look at that and the power consumption. That is, is almost exactly half. So we're using half the amount of power, but instead of going from, you know, 104 to, you know, mid fifties, we're still pushing almost 80 gallons a minute through this system. And that's the idea with a variable speed pump. As you dial down the RPM of the motor, there is an exponential drop in the amount of power that it, con it consumes. Well, an approximately linear drop in the amount of flow that it achieves. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.